Hi, my name is Peggy Brill. I am a New York City orthopedic specialized physical therapist. I've written the book, The Core Program and Instant Relief, because we want people all around the world to make themselves healthier by learning the secrets of a musculoskeletal expert of how you can get rid of your pain and feel your best every day and function optimally. We're going to start with what's called the self-test, right? So that you can get a baseline of what idea of something that might be bothering you that you don't even realize is an imbalance. So you can go along with me and if you see yourself on the, in the video like a mirror, that's perfect so you can look at it. So we're going to start, there's several hot spots in the body, neck, the shoulder complex, the abdominal zone, the lower back, the pelvic area, the hips and the whole lower extremities. So this musculoskeletal system is complex but we are going to simplify it in a way that you're going to be able to diagnose yourself and then start to do some things that get you relief. And the idea is that you do that to get the relief, your body will heal and function optimally. All right, so first we're going to start off with the neck. Let's just take a look at what your neck rotation's like. Look over your one shoulder, look over the other. Does that seem balanced? Like they're both pretty equally, equally tight, one side more than the other? If that is, that's part of the problem. All right, we're going to learn how to fix that. Drop your chin to your chest, then look all the way up. What does that feel like? You should be able to get your face parallel to the ceiling looking up without feeling dizzy. If you feel dizzy, please don't do that. Then we're gonna look at the shoulder complex. Can you lift both arms up overhead? All right, can you lift both arms up in front of you? Can you externally rotate one arm and do the other and touch? Now, typically your dominant arm is gonna have a little less internal rotation but it shouldn't be dramatically different. It should be a little bit tighter. And that's just because usually you have more muscles in there. Then we're gonna look at your abdominal zone. What is your stomach muscles like? Okay, if you're on your feet all day, or you're doing work all day, your stomach is what supports your spine. So it's very important. So I'm gonna get down here on the floor and I'm just gonna show you, can you lift your legs up like this and hold that? Can you hold that up there for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds? All right, if you can't, we need to start strengthening your abdominals, okay? These are quick self-fitness tests because we don't want you injured. We don't want you injured at work and we don't want you injured at play. We want you to live your best life. So you're gonna get up, we're gonna look at your back, all right? Back has to be healthy, it has to flex, it has to rotate, it has to extend. So can you roll your chin down to your chest, roll through your back, slide your hands down your legs and touch the floor? and come back up. That's normal flexion. Can you put your feet hip width apart? Can you bend backwards? And I have very good back extension. I've had multiple herniations. Do you believe the motion I have? I've trained those muscles and those bones to move like that. Bring your arms overhead. What's my side bending like? Does that look symmetrical? Does one side go a little bit and not at all to the other side? Again, that's very important. Then we're gonna get down on the floor. We're gonna look at your hamstring length. What does that look like? Can you put your legs out straight? Can you lift up one leg straight while the other thigh is pressed down? Let's do the other side. What does that look like? Is one tight? Does one make the foot go numb or tingling? Or does it create back pain when you do that? All right? again, another hot spot that we need to address. We'll, talk, we'll get back to the pelvic floor and the bladder because that's a little bit more personal but also very important because that stabilizes your hips. Then we're gonna look at standing, how your hips function. Can you grab your foot, all right? Or are you leaning like this to grab it? Can you bend and grab your foot? All right, so we checked the hamstrings, now we're testing the quads. Can you deep squat all the way down, keeping your heels flat? Can you tolerate that, all right? That's a quick test all the way down the leg. The other one I love is put your ankle up on your other knee. Can you push that leg down? Can you pull it across? What does that feel like? Are you getting a pinch in the groin? You get too much pain in the buttock. Push that down, pull that across. Again, you wanna keep these supple and strong, all right? For to have the best musculoskeletal life, all right? And also to prevent bone loss and arthritis and all these things that we know we can prevent we cure things all day long so i want to share that with you and i hope you 
appreciate and enjoy learning these things and that you get to live without pain every day. That's my, my hope. Okay, so thank you for taking this time to take these special tests of your hotspot. And we're gonna talk about the core program to get rid of those problem areas and really make you feel your best every day. You deserve to feel fabulous, why not? Thank you for choosing Peggy Brill and Brill Physical Therapy. Stay strong and be well.